to see the parents or the grandparents uh, or even the fathers that have been away from the kids uh, have one good day with the kids, that brings a phenomenal amount of joy for me. Well, One Good Day was started about three or four years ago and it started as a Christmas show event where the children were actually asked to sing. And so ever since then they've got up on stage and over a hundred times they've sung now. The children are from three to 14 or 15 years old. We have uh, up to 30 children on stage. Most of the time it's about 15 or 20. The last two months they've sung something like 25 times. One of the reasons they're singing so much and we, we try to create these one good day activities for them is because there's so much sadness and usually the only time they get together is when they're grief stricken or they're sad. So what happens on a good day when the parents are there or the grandparents and the children and they're all working together, it's all a family thing because if each parent looks after their children or if each grandparent. That connection between the grandparents and the parents and the children is very, very powerful. Our main song that the kids love to sing is Nalawala. Nalawala means rest and really that's our aim is to, to find rest restful places, restful fun activities for our children. Language is a very, very powerful uh, mechanism to help with identity. And so we got the elders to come in and actually teach the choir some of the language, some of the songs. It really encouraged them to honour their elders, past and present, by singing the language. And it is very special when they sing the language on the land. And it just brings a little bit of identity for them and a bit of self-esteem. It's, it's very, very important um, that the elders are respected and honoured. So for instance, we, we help about 50 families a week with food, but we don't, uh, we don't actually distribute the food. We, we hand it to the elders, fill the elders' cupboards, and then the elders, each of the elders look after five or ten families. I would really love to see a singing teacher in each of the houses each week. That would be fantastic. At the very least, a singing teacher for the choir every week or a music teacher would be, would be fantastic. Transport is another one. Uh, if we could get another two buses, even 12-seater buses would be fantastic. I'd like some lawn mowers. A lawn mower uh, can be the difference if the, if the grass is very high it can be the difference between some of the children and some of the families being evicted from the house and, and or not. The depression and this feeling of hopelessness um, is so horrible but the cool thing about the collective is that, that there are people who do want to help and the stories can be told in an appropriate way and I think the result of that will be very good so I'm excited. We would love to see our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people leading the way, but it does start with a dream and there's, there's healing that takes place on one good day. So.